Hello and welcome to this video. Um, I'm going to try and keep these videos uh, short as much as possible, but they are, I feel, quite important. And I have been working on this for quite a number of years and I feel like I now have a more direct purpose in my my career, as it were, in my life to help other indigos. Now, this video is about finding out whether or not you are an indigo child or an indigo adult. Now, why, why, why is this important? Because a lot of people do not understand what an indigo child or an indigo adult is. And, f and as a psychologist and from a psychological point of view, um, I'm finding more and more and more that children, as of late, have been diagnosed with ADHD and ADD or something like that, um, sort of an attention deficit uh, symptoms, um, so-called categorized. And, and so yeah, I've done another video about children, okay, finding out whether your children are or a child of yours is an indigo. But this is more about you know, whether you are finding yourself, you know, being diagnosed with something that possibly you know that you haven't got, or, f or wanting to find out actually whether or not you are an indigo um, child, or that you were an indigo child, or you were brought up with parents that didn't really understand you. Uh, no one else actually really seemed to understand you. There's very, very few people that actually understand an indigo child. Uh, and whether you're now like me, you know, I'm 50 plus, um, I've always known I've been in, an indigo child, so I didn't really have too many problems, but obviously fitting into the world, I found very, really quite difficult. So anyway, questions to ask yourself. Um, I've actually written all this down because I'm not following a script, okay? And I want to get this right. So are you very highly intuitive, empathetic? or empathic rather, have strong psychic abilities and experiences in your life. Okay, think about that one. Second question, were you rebellious in school by refusing to do homework and rejecting the authority of teachers? Okay, um, or in addition to that, seriously wanted to rebel but didn't because of parental pressure. Third question, do you have a strong sense that people just aren't getting it or understanding and an urge to help them or make them understand as well as a drive to change or improve the world in some way? Okay, think about that one. And then finally, do you seem to see things that most others do not? having a greater understanding of the universe than the rest of the world at large. Now, these are five questions that I've picked out. There are a whole raft of questions that you can kind of ask yourself. Um, and I will be working on a website uh, that, that will list all of these questions. And there is also going to be a way of grading, you know, sort of like the percentage level, if you like, of, an, of being an indigo or whether you're, whether you're just not. You know, there is a way of actually finding out. So then I wanted to really talk about uh, the symptoms and, if you like, the history behind what an indigo is. Now, there are plenty of sites and books available. I'm not going to be, you know, re-explaining re what an indigo is. But basically, an indigo is somebody who has come back to this earth with a purpose in mind. And as we get older, we turn into light workers. Okay, we turn into healers, we turn into psychologists, we turn into people that are trying to help others around the world understand, you know, what's really, really, really going on. So there are characteristics, if you like, of, of being an indigo. And these are that you feel like you're an old soul or that you other people tell you that you're an old soul. You know, you've heard the term, you know, oh, my child is 10 going on 40 or something or 10 going on 30. OK, that's how other people tend to interpret the kind of person that you are. I've got a whole list of them here and I'm not going to go through them all. But um, there are a couple of things that I can I can relate with. Um, only wants deep, lasting relationships. You know, 
that's something that I can relate to. Um, I never really wanted this whole temporary relationship thing, not, not just talking about love, um, you know, with, with somebody of the opposite sex or, or whatever that may be, you know, in that romantic context. I'm talking about in relation with clients, in relation with people that you do business with, with Joe Bloggs that comes off the street and asks you to do something or wants one of your services. There's just always an urge to want to actually build up a relationship with that person for some reason. Or that you've actually come across somebody that you have n in theory never met before or in not in this particular lifetime met, ever met before, but you feel a connection with, you know? And again, there's this urge to sort of build a relationship with that person. Um, desires to help the world in many ways, but not just little things, but major things, you know, another trait of being an indigo. There are other things which I personally haven't suffered from or not particularly badly that I can kind of relate to. Um, struggles with insomnia, um, has a history of depression, Okay, uh, sometimes this is actually brought on I, typically by external sources. But there are other things that, that can um, be traits of an indigo. Um, supernatural abilities, i.e. being psychic, being possibly a tarot card reader or using a pendulum or being interested in sort of um, esoteric type things. You know, this is, this is also another trait. Creative. A, typically a creative person, somebody that is, is interested in music and play an instrument maybe, or has a really keen eye or ear rather for music, photography, art, creating things with your hands, you know, that kind of thing. Having an urge to always want to be out in nature, you know, feeling a connection with nature, with trees, with beautiful mountains, with lakes, you know, always wanting to be outside. Um, and I can also relate to going when I was young, you know, with my parents would go out. It wasn't really very often, but we would go somewhere and I would just go off on my own. You would go to a beach somewhere and my parents wouldn't see me for the rest of the day. And I would only be like seven or eight years old, 10 years old. And I would just wander. I would go off. You know, this, this, these are all traits of an indigo. You just feel comfortable being around yourself. Uh, more than you do sometimes with other people. So, um, and now I would say finally, you know, uh, strong-willed and headstrong. Yes, I would say that's a trait, especially when you're young. I tended to get into trouble quite a lot with my parents because I didn't really want to do what they wanted me to do. You know, I was being molded as it were. You know, I can remember distinctly, just as an example, um, you know, a friend of my parents, their children had a birthday party. I didn't know who they were, but my parents wanted me to go and stay over with this family that I didn't know. And they were really, really pushing because they obviously wanted to be friends with these people. Um, I, I didn't, and I really, really didn't. And I got into serious, you know, I must've only been six or seven years old at the time. And, you know, I, I took a lot of flack for that. Um, I wasn't going to do it. I didn't want to go to a party for somebody that I didn't really know and stay overnight in a, in a house that I, did, I wasn't really very comfortable with. So, you know, I'm going to stop there. <laughs> they're, they're traits of an indigo. And again, there are a lot more things that you can um, analyze, as it were. So rounding this video up. If you find out that you're an indigo child or an indigo adult or a young person, you know, what, what can you do about it? I mean, what, di what difference does it make? Well, I learnt very early on that I was very different. Um, I got sent to psychiatrists. I got sent to psychologists. I was put on medications because I was just so very, very different. I did not fit into my family at all when I was a child. I knew that. I, I had a brother, a younger sister and a younger brother. I knew my parents weren't, if you like, my real parents. I felt alien to them. Uh, I, you know, they felt alien to me rather. My brother and sister, I didn't really particularly get on with. I didn't, I didn't feel anything. It was at that point from a very early age that I realized there was something very different about me. Um, you know, I used to see other kids at school and they were doing all these things with their, with their siblings, their brothers and sisters and, and their family. 
And I just thought, why am I not, why do I not feel like this, you know? So there are a number of things that I can help you with, but you can also help you help yourself with. Um, one of the key things, and, and this is something that I do provide, is astrology charts. Now, whether you want to believe any of this stuff or not, you know, astrology charts have been around for thousands of years. OK, the history and the knowledge is already there. And as like I say to peace, you know, to people, there is no harm in finding out something about yourself. If you understand about you and about how you work and ultimately what your purpose is here, then that will give you an awful lot of peace of mind. Um, and it comes down to, I find, having spoken to other indigos, that it comes down to how how early on in your life in this on this planet you find out that you are different um, and how you deal with it so if you're being molded by the world and by society and by your parents because you're different and you're being pushed down and pushed down and you know no one believes what you're saying and 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 you feel like everything's an uphill struggle and you're you're you know you're battling against the tide of a of a raging river all the time that um that can happen in this world um very often what happens is everything inside you becomes suppressed but at some point it's a bit like a pressure cooker you know it builds up and builds up and builds up and then all of a sudden it, it, it will explode um, and then you know that can be confusing it can be confusing um, I have seen it happen fortunately it, it, ha it I know I didn't experience that although I have had episodes in my life where I have kind of exploded um, as it were but um, you know psychologically <laughs> There are a lot of ways that you can find help that I can help you with. Um, you know, if if you're inclined, tarot cards can help on your path. Um, you know, there are other methods. There are other things that, that, you know, as a psychologist, I can help you with. This is all about helping you to help yourself and helping you to understand who you are. What is in up here? What is in down in your heart? And what it is your life purpose is, if, as it were. Other methods are things like um, meditation. This is something else that I do. You know, meditation, looking after your chakras. And other things that I can help you with are protection. One of the biggest things we need to do as indigos is protect ourselves. We need to protect ourselves from the outside influences, as it were, so that we can actually keep a focus and be in control of who we are and what's going in here and how we react with everything around us. So um, that's basically it in a nutshell. I'm hoping to maybe do a series of uh, smaller videos about specific subjects to do with being an indigo adult or an, an, an indigo and I'm talking an indigo child from probably mid-teens all the way up to you know 60, 70, 80 years old. Um, I also have a video about knowing uh, or wanted, people wanting to know whether their child is an indigo child as in from the ages of you know two, three, four upwards up to sort of 15 years old. Um, so if you're interested in this kind of thing, go and watch that video as well, because hopefully you'll find that insightful and um, informative for you. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to speaking with you soon personally, if you would like some more direction and insight. Thanks again.